Good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that uh, video showing our star at this year's IAA, the Mercedes-Benz E-Actra 600. Today, I'm here as the CEO of Mercedes-Benz Trucks. But as some of you might have seen, from the 1st of October, I'm going to take over as head of Daimler Truck. So I want to start today by thanking Martin Daum for everything you've done for me. <laughs> yeah, come on! <laughs> I want to thank you for what you've done for me for the company, but also for the industry. And I think with the hard work that you put in over many years, you've set Daimler truck really up to lead sustainable transportation. And I think the E600 is a testament to that. This is not a prototype vehicle or a test vehicle. It's ready for series production, and it has completed extensive testing. What you just saw in the beginning was some footage from our European testing tour, where two e actors went on a journey across Europe, 22 countries, over 15,000 kilometers, and carrying the whole way 40 tons. And on this trip, these e actors actually exceeded our expectations when it comes to energy efficiency. Over the entire trip, we had an average consumption of 103 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And to really understand what that means, if you would convert 103 kilowatts into diesel, it would correspond to a consumption of less than 10 liters per 100 kilometers, which is less than half of what a modern diesel truck actually consumes. So, we officially say that the Eactra 600 has a range of 500 kilometers on one charge, but if we look on this trip, the E600 could actually easily have gone over 600 kilometers on one charge on many days of the trip. And that makes this truck ready for long-haul transportation. And long haul is the decisive segment when it comes to the decarbonization, because in Europe it accounts for over two-thirds of all CO2 emissions from heavy road freight. So with this truck, decarbonization is not something that might come sometime in the future. Decarbonization is now. We will start series production in November. And as of today, we already have over 2,000 firm orders. Now, let me add some quick facts. The Eactros comes with three battery packs totaling 621 kilowatt hours. The batteries use LFP, lithium iron phosphate cells, which last very well uh, up or over 1.2 million kilometers or 10 years in operation. Another benefit of LFP is that you can use 95% of the installed capacity, which means that the drug doesn't carry any extra weight from batteries that cannot be used. We also have a new electric drive axle. It's developed in-house. It's E-specific, so the truck doesn't have a prop shaft, which gives a lot more space on the frame to put batteries. And we also have, as you can see, a new aerodynamic cab, the Pro Cabin, which reduces air drag by 9% compared to our current cab. So this is a great truck. It is a game changer, and it can replace diesel. Thank you. <laughs> and we actually have some more proof for you, because if you go to our breakfast buffet, you will see that our e actor 600 went on an overnight mission. Last night, we sent it off to Berlin to bring back some Berliners for breakfast, 
And here you can see some impressions from the trip. you might wonder, why did we do that? Well, of course, we want you to have the best breakfast of the whole IAA exhibition here in our press conference. But also, we wanted to send a message to the politicians in Berlin that the trucks are ready, and now infrastructure must follow. I'm really proud to see zero emission transportation is becoming more and more a part of everyday life and our lineup is becoming more and more complete. We started with the regional and the urban segments. We launched the Fuso e Canter already back in 2017, then the E-Actors 3 and 400 in 2021, and the E-Econic in 2022, and now the e 600. And of course, in our global portfolio, we have many more electric trucks and buses. And actually, this picture right here makes me really proud to work for Daimler Truck. Across the world, we are ready to deliver and to help our customers transition. At the same time, we know that for our customers, this transition is much more than just going from a diesel truck or bus to an electric one. They need to know that they can earn money with the truck. And we have to help them, our consultants, that work together with our customers to look at their routes, their transportation tasks, charging options, and of course, the business case. And the good news is that we start to see more and more that there is a positive business case for e-mobility. I would now like to invite on stage Stina Fagerman, who will tell you more about how we support our customers. Thank you, Karin. To support our com customers to be both sustainable and profitable is our main task at Mercedes-Benz Trucks. We strive to be a real partner in every step of their transformation. Step one is consulting. Karen just talked about this. Step two is getting more concrete in terms of infrastructure and charging. Here we assist in planning and designing depot charging. That includes support in getting grid connection and getting the right partners on board. For example, we are now partnering with Alpertronic, selling fast charging stations. On top of that, we help also to identify public funding opportunities. And we provide financial solutions from Diamond Track Financial Services for the track, but also for the whole relevant infrastructure. By the way, we provide all these services for our customers, but also for all ones receiving logistic services. We help them in planning and installing charging stations at key points in their supply chain. And that helps to reduce emissions in their value chain, but also pushes transformation of our whole industry. But now, back to our customer's truck fleet. When the trucks are delivered and the depot is set up, we also support our customer in operation. This is step three. To learn a bit more about that, I would like to invite my colleague Max on stage. Hi Max, really, really great to have you here. You work as a trainer, 
and you're in daily contact with customers. What do you say? What support do they need while operating the trucks? Thank you, Stina. It's really great to be together with you here at the IAA and also obviously with all of you. Um, operations of e-trucks obviously bring changes to our customers' daily routines and lots of changes. So we also want to accompany our customers on their everyday operations and one specific service that we introduce for that is the Fleetboard Charge Management Service. So with charge management, all our customers will have a full transparency on the charging process. They get all the relevant information from the charging stations directly where they need them, and they can also tell the charging stations when, how, and which trucks to charge. So full transparency here is important because obviously the charging needs to work to get the operations done every day as well. So a very helpful service for our customers here. Furthermore, when we're talking about public charging, we are also offering a charging card as an extension to our fuel card, you know, so the traditional diesel card. So this then obviously rounds up the portfolio of services for our customers here. Great. Thank you, Max. What you see here are the services that we now bundle under the new brand Track Charge. Track Charge includes everything from customer initial contact to building up customer infrastructure into the operation phase. Max, according to experience, can you describe a bit more how this will be a great benefit for our customers? Yeah, sure. When talking to our customers, what we see most is that they really appreciate to have somebody at their side who knows what it takes to go electric, right? We just talked a bit about the challenges. So this is why then we say we bring all our expertise, we bring the partners that we just talked about, and also the politicians, uh, if they are ready, so to speak, and we bring everything together to the table and really get the electric trucks going for our customers. And this is what Truck Charge does for them. So it brings everything together. That is great. And being a true partner also includes helping if something goes wrong. For example, to be quick in bringing up our customers back on the road. For this reason, we have invested a lot in after sales. Let me give you two examples. First, we are expanding our own retail network. Just in 2024, we have opened up four new own retail locations. These locations are all ready for both conventional and zero emission vehicles. And it will help us to be even closer to our customers. My second example is that we are now building a new global parts center near Halberstadt here in Germany. This will make us even faster in delivering spare parts to our customers and thereby also then reduce their downtime. An operation of this new logistic hub will start in the next year. Max, we have talked a lot about how we support our customers, but according to your experience, is it still something that's holding them back before yeah. going electric? Yeah, we've been consulting our customers for quite a while now. We just saw the ramp up of our portfolio, so we've been with our customers for quite a while. Um, the feedback that we get more and more often is that they are a bit less concerned about the depot charging side, so the charging at home, so to speak, but they are still quite concerned about public charging, so charging on the road when they are out there doing the logistic services. There they are still concerned a bit. Thank you, Max. Very, very helpful to have your first-hand insights here. Thank you. Thank you. And it, it is true. Public infrastructure remains a bottleneck. To pick up speed here, we're committing ourselves to initiatives like Mylands, our joint venture together with the Volvo and Trayton Group. The goal here is to build at least 1,700 charging points across Europe by 2027. That being said, I'm very happy that we're gaining more and more momentum in transformation of our industry, but we must be aware that this historic transformation will take some time and the speed will differ between regions. Therefore, it's also important to further develop our diesel vehicles. And this, this is what we have done with our new Actors L. We have further optimized our flagship track in terms of efficiency, comfort, and safety. Regarding efficiency, you can see the new design of our Pro Cabin at first glance. The longer front end and further aerodynamic measures results in fuel savings up to 3%. 
Next to that, we have an optimized drivetrain, also consisting of a new transmission, which helps to further reduce fuel consumption. And as you know, better fuel efficiency also pays off financially. Optimized drivetrain also brings more comfort and improved driving experience, especially when accelerating on inclines and a quieter and more pleasant ride. Further innovations is, uh, regarding comfort is our updated multimedia cockpit with, for example, speech control. Safety. Safety is and has always been in the DNA of Mercedes-Benz trucks. And the installed system in both our Eactus 600 and in our Eactus, Eactus L gives much more than just fulfilling the new general safety regulations. Great examples are here our Active Brake Assist 6 and our Active Sideguard Assist 2. Start of production of our Actus L with Pro Cabin will be end of this year. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really, really proud of what our team have accomplished here. Our flagship track comes in a new shape with many new innovations that will make our customers even more successful in their job. Karin? Now back to you. Thank you, Stina. Thanks, Max. So let me summarize. Number one, we have a broad global portfolio of zero emission vehicles where the e-actress is the newest member. And with a range of 500 kilometers, it is ready for long haul transport. Two, we go far beyond the vehicle. We want to make the switch to e-mobility as easy as possible for our customers. And with TruckCharge, we offer infrastructure, consulting, and digital services. And three, the business case looks good for many customers already today. And I think that's the best news, actually. So there are a lot of good news. However, one major challenge remains, and that's public charging infrastructure. Here we need much more momentum, not only for battery electric, but also for hydrogen. I didn't talk about that so much in this presentation, but I'm convinced we need hydrogen as a second green energy source to decarbonize Europe. Luckily, when we went to Berlin, we had no problem charging the e -Actros. So I hope that before you leave, you will have time to visit our breakfast buffet and to grab one. And I hope you enjoy that. And while you do that, I will make sure that the eActros 600 gets charged and ready for the next mission. Thank you.